Um, we also saw the new Batman trailer. And I'm not a big Batman fan, but I'm not like a hater of Batman. Like, I, re I respect what the guy does. I'm just not the biggest fan of Batman. You know, he's rich. He can apparently outthink anybody. He can beat anybody with prep, if you ask anybody on the internet. He's just kind of emo goth. I love Batman when he has the Bat family. I love his interactions with Robin, Batgirl, Red Hood. I like him with Oracle. I like when Batman has a family. This is more of an origin story with Batman, so I'm just like, ugh. But it has Robert Patterson, who I'm not like the biggest fan of Robert Patterson either, but I'm definitely going to go see this movie. I haven't, we haven't seen a Batman movie with, with, um, you know, the, the Riddler in there, really. So, that's what we really wanted to see. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and play this trailer up top, the Bat Riddler Unmasked Batman. And I actually haven't watched this video. So, I'm gonna be watching this the first time with you guys. So, we have some question marks. Explosions. Typical Batman stuff. Batman looking like Batman. This one that I have actually is in like Japanese or Asian or something like that. So let's watch one in English. Let's play a game. What is he, Jigsaw? The Riddler. So he's Batman, but is he gonna be exposed as Batman almost immediately? And because DC, their movies aren't doing great. They're like setting, there's like so many continuities going on. Although it is a multiverse. So they have this Batman. They have Ben Affleck as Batman. They have the um, Joaquin Phoenix Joker. They have the other Joker. I forget his name. What's his name? Jared Leto Joker. And there's just so much going on in the DCEU right now. Compared to the Marvel Universe where it's kind of concise and they're only getting more thorough with it. So, I never liked Batman when he has, like, that eye makeup on, but I've never really seen him without the mask on with the eye makeup, and it kind of looks cool. I don't know how I feel about um, Andy Serkis as Alfred. He's such a creepy guy. Like, you know, he does Gollum in Lord of the Rings, um, and it's just, like, I feel like he should be more of a bad guy. <laughs> oh, wow. And I'm not a big fan of this Batmobile either, but that scene where it just drives out through the fire is pretty cool. And watching the Batman walking up to you. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. I mean, March 11th. Wow, that's actually much closer than I thought it was. March 11th is right around the corner as of a recording. Today is December 15th. So I'm really looking forward to this movie. Um, as far as that goes, that's pretty cool. As far as movie stuff, I think that's all we have on movies. 